coming from a very, very early Disney day. Oh, very early Disney travel day. Um, we stayed last night in the Marriott Hotel in Windsor. All nice, Nick? Yeah, nice enough. Yeah, very moved. nice. Yeah, we did get moved because of hotel cancellation, but never mind. Lovely meal last night in the bar downstairs. It Everyone's was nice. very friendly. Yeah, really nice, wasn't it? Yeah, so a taxi book now at quarter past three to take us to Heathrow Airport to get our plane to Charles de Gaulle. Another Disney travel day. Back to Terminal 3 at Heathrow. Uh, we're flying with Air France, which we've flown with loads of times before, so we are pretty confident we're going to be okay, innit? Yeah, it? hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah, there's been a lot of chaos in the airports the last couple of weeks, so we're literally going to film this quick little video, get, we'll get in. Yeah, pack the camera <laughs> away, get through security because we want to be those people who are like ready for it, you know, yeah, everything yeah. packed, toiletries packed, ready, and it'll clear bag, not f f fussing around, holding up the queue. So we're gonna make our way through. Hopefully, it's a breakfast. I'm starving now. I am. Are you? I don't know why. Is it? We could do with a nice cold orange juice. It's not twenty to four. We do have a cup of tea in the hotel, yeah, but we yeah, we're ready to make our way through. The taxi journey was alright, wasn't it? Yeah, it was fine. And there is a new five pound drop off charge, but it wasn't really extra five pound on the taxi I price. So I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe it's slightly different for taxis. I mean, yeah. Let's make our way through. We made it through. Yeah. It was actually alright. Well, we were the first flight of the day out at uh, five past six, so we were waiting for the check-in desk to open to get our boarding passes and the security, weren't we? Yeah, a long so it's time. Been a fast. Actually. Yeah. What time did we get here? Like we, got... we were about twenty to four, and it's now ten past five. Yeah, so it's not too bad. Bear in mind, it was the first. We waited until four a.m. for the first for the check-in desk to open, and then and probably like what was it half past four, quarter to five or something before the. Security really open, but it was really fast all the way through. Yeah, it was, through. Yeah, it was no problems. Play. Fair play. It was really, really fast, and um, but there was a big queue if you are putting luggage on. Obviously, we got hand luggage, so make sure you leave enough time in it. Yeah, we thought we were early. Uh, we came in as a massive queue, wasn't it? Yeah, there was. So we got about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, something before boarding, before gate. Oh, boarding and oh, Let's get us to Disney. So uh, quick. Quick bite to eat in Cafe Nero before we, uh, before we get on our flight. Five pound bacon roll and coffee meal. Not bad, when we eventually got it. Yeah, it was a big fuss to get it and they were just literally open so we were still faffing around with getting stuff prepared and stuff. But yeah, I am absolutely starving, I don't know why. I didn't eat a lot yesterday. No, we didn't eat that much yesterday. Anyway, I'm going to tuck in my bacon roll because it's been sitting in a bag for ages. <laughs> Waiting for them to sit. Waiting for sit. somebody to get my order right. We touched down in uh, Charles de Gaulle. Yay! <sighs> Finally, it was going to be hot and bothered in there then. It's hard to yeah. I saw a sign and it said 60 minutes from this point, but luckily, I don't know what happened, they opened some cave and we literally passed everybody. So. I was feeling a bit guilty. Yeah, we, we, guilty. we have made it through, so we're literally going to catch an Uber now because we've, we've toyed with a couple of different things before me, and literally it's been the easiest oh, thing for us just to get an Uber thing, in. Yeah. Um, I'm just, looking for it now. Yeah, we are waiting for it now. It says we had about three minutes, so I literally just booked it. Uh, 49 euros from here to Disney Cheyenne Hotel, so it's about that. Which I just think is pretty reasonable, to be honest with you. Yeah, the train is about the same. Yeah, yeah, and you've got to get lifts and terminals and that. So didn't feel much on the flight and all that kind of stuff. We were sitting in different places in the separated. middle of people. We were separated. And yeah, it was chaotic in there. So leave enough time for transfers and stuff. Anyway, let's go on there, try and find our Uber.
we made it to Cheyenne. <laughs> Oh, Brill. Had a bit of a round the, round the oh, trek then God, with that Uber driver. He was a drip, bless him. Took him the he? wrong way. Anyway. For you. Yes, and some things to think about. Charles de Gaulle Airport is absolutely massive. Like, huge, isn't it? It's huge. And every time... We said earlier we're going to get an Uber because it's the easiest thing. Yeah. But every time we've got an Uber, we've had trouble finding yeah. them. <laughs> if you come out on Terminal 2E, you need to go upstairs one to go to the express yeah. pickup. That's what we did wrong. So he was going around and around upstairs and we were down one level. But anyway, well, in the end. Um, rooms are ready till three o'clock, but they will let us know on the app what room number we are. So we don't have to go back to reception or anything. Yeah. We went in, we picked up our magic passes so that we can get into the park. Um, yeah, so around about three o'clock, I think he said. Yeah, that we'd have a notification of when our well, where our room is, so we just go straight to the room then, in obviously one of the one of the out uh, one of the out buildings. Um, Got our luggage off at the luggage yeah. area, nice and quick. Yeah, really easy. They got that in all the hotels here, which is obviously really really, um, handy. really handy to have. Yeah. Uh, so we're just now making our way, strolling through. We're not going to get the shuttle think, bus in. What do you think? He knows the way. I so do know the way, and as you all know, if you've watched before. Nick doesn't and she doesn't notice I just seen a sign there that said Disney Village this way 15 minutes as well mm, okay. so yeah we dropped our luggage we got our hotel passes I love these little things what are these called wagons and I see Nick as she was itching itching like oh we haven't had a badge where's the badge dropped our luggage off boy Sven give us the two badges Yay! Sven give us the goods so yeah we're just gonna make our way now down to the riverside and stroll all nicely it's into a uh, day for it. Oh, it's brilliant. It's still a bit chilly. It is a bit nippy. It's supposed to be 20 degrees today. It is um, only like 11 o'clock. It's a Yeah. Time. Yeah. I don't know what so I'm just going to spin you around now and take you for a little uh, little walk through Cheyenne's. Yeah, it is like a western town though, isn't it? It's brilliant. It's really cool. So that's how you know what uh, where your building is, where your room is at. Everything is named after like a a Western star. Butch Cassidy over there. Soaring Eagle. Oh. oh, we're in the middle of the road. So Cheyenne, opposite where we stayed last time in Santa Fe. Um, about a 15 minute walk to to the park I'd say Nick would you? I think so it, it says fast you walk yeah it, it says 15 minutes to Disney Village but I think it's to the park so um, yeah so we're just gonna end sort of pause the travel vlog for now because we can't check into a room give you a bit of a tour of the room and the resort a little bit later we are off to start our day one vlog in Disneyland Paris and we will catch up with you later when our room is ready Woo! Yeah. see you later so welcome back to our part two of our travel vlog. We uh, spent a couple of hours in, in Disneyland Paris uh, filming our day one vlog. We are um, now back at Cheyenne because I received text at, what time did I say, quarter to one? Quarter to one with our room number. So we're just going to head now to grab our luggage, which is in a luggage hole, which is right next to the reception, and make our way to our room to have a look what it's like. A luck. Yeah. The bank. That is actually a Starbucks coffee. So that's where we begin our coffee fix in the morning before we head to make a walk over to the park. It's very well themed here. Yeah. It's really, really something else, as you would expect with any Disney hotel, of course. So this is the entrance where the taxi and drop-offs kind of uh, will let you out. And then through there is the main reception area. When you arrive, come to check in. Um, like I said this morning, we just uh, grabbed our magic passes off sort of like a remote check-in area that was just on this side. And uh, yeah, we'll have a look in there a little bit later after we've uh, collected our luggage. 
Yes, like I said, uh, we had a text earlier from Disneyland telling us what our room number was. Um, so we don't have to go back to reception or anything like that. So we're in block number 21, which is round two, if you're looking at the reception, to the left of the reception. So we're in block number 21, which is Jesse James. Across the road, Nick. Oh, it's this way, is it? Yeah. Right and right. Yeah, I know, but you can't go down there, see? Because oh, that's yeah, the service that's... entrance. Oh. Unless you want to be washing the dishes. So yeah, we're in block number 21, which is Jesse James. Just grabbed our bags, making our way straight over to the room now. You don't realise how big it is, Nick, do you? All these uh, hotels, when you walk around, oh, the walk around the front, do you think that it's oh, just... Uh, right in front. Oh, great, that's nice and easy. I wonder if there's a little cut through so we don't have to go around uh, the front of reception as well. Oh, I think there is. Great. So yeah, that's us just on the bottom there, Jesse James. The bunk house. Whoops, a daisy. So I was all ever confident we were going for 21. Sourcing that 21, find out where it was. And then I just read my text and we're in block number 22. Not a million miles away. Nah, just literally next door to Jesse James, so happy enough. We're in Soaring Eagle, Nick. Oh, yeah. Right, it's like a blinking uh, western ghost town, isn't it? Oh. Everyone's enjoying the Disneyland Paris. It's magic. That's why we don't want to be here too long ourselves. And two, 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 one, six. That means we have an upstairs room. So only two floors. Two, two, one, six. Yeah. yeah. Two, two, one, six. I believe is between two, two, zero, one and two, two, yes. three, seven. That's true. That means we're upstairs. Oh, I was hoping we'd be downstairs. Oh no, well, maybe a bit of a view up here. I think we're down the very far end of the corridor and we come in the door that's on the opposite side but there is a door by us, so we should be all right. So Hotel Cheyenne is themed after Woody's Roundup, which is the little uh, show that's on Toy Story, the, the make-believe show that uh, Woody was involved in. Where is our room? Two, two, one, six. One, yeah. six. Yeah, why? Right then, let's try again. We're on the bottom floor Start now. Upstairs, and it's very so, upstairs. when is it? Arrow says up. It doesn't mean up. It means straight on. I'll do this right, Stupid. I've got the key. Two two one six. Finally, uh, we're in a mare with a couple of things uh, so far this holiday. We. My legs. Where is our hotel pass? Yeah. Do you want to beep us in? I do. Huh? Yeah. You need to hold it a little bit longer. Here we go. Beep. Is that beeping coming from our room? Yes, I think it's the phone. We have a voicemail, do we? we have a voicemail from Mickey. Fine. This door's heavy. Yeah, we'll the there you go, we're in. Oh, nice. So well, that can get lost in it, like. Wow, this is really cool. Quite Ooh. similar to how it was in Santa Fe when it just a bit of a retheme. Actually, just a slightly bit better than Santa Fe. It is slightly better. I don't know. Here we are. Carpet was a bit grubby in Santa Fe, wasn't it? Remember, oh it was a bit, yeah. It was a bit grubby. Yeah, I could get rid of the carpet. Yeah. That's probably why they're going for a hardwood flooring in this place. A bit more wearing. Yes. Here we go. The heat is on 23 degrees. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Come on, boys. Boiling, yeah. So there we have, so it's literally a four person room. Double bed. And we've got this sofa, nice. which pulls into a bed. So the bottom one comes out and uh, actually raises up to the same level as well, which is pretty good. So you know, they're sort of top and bottom. So yeah, like I said, Toy Story, Woody's Roundup. That is the Woody's Roundup sort of theme in. Got a telephone. Oh, a little bench over there. That's quite nice. Plenty nice little feature. Sit. 
I'll have a little detail where these uh, Woody's clothing theme in. Plenty of drawers. A joining room if you need it. Get that locked. <laughs> what do you think? I like it. Yeah, really nice. It is better than Santa Fe. Yeah, it is it is Even literally just uh setter. Yeah, literally all the same. Uh, just a different theme in. So we got there safe. A cot in the corner if you need it, some place to hang your clothes. Bathroom, pretty standard, same as Santa Fe. Theming is great. Get this kind of stuff in your case ASAP. And, uh, yeah. Got a shower over the bath. Little cool Woody's, Woody's round up shower curtain. And the little toiletries. Don't use them, just get them straight in the case. Oh, yeah, that's our room at uh, Hotel Cheyenne. Oh! oh Quarter of a day at Disney and you're out. Pardon? Quarter of a day we've had so far and you're already out, Des. I am out, Des. Quarter of a day, be done. Let's have a look out the window. Oh, we're on the bottom gra um, ground floor. Oh, it's quite cute, actually. Yeah, very nice. So yeah, that's oh, it. I'm done. I was two of you since mine. Two thirty a.m. this morning. So we go after this now. We'll show you around the uh, truck wagon and reception area, which is really well themed as well. It looks really nice over there. We'll see you over there. So Nick's having a little break in the uh, room for a minute. I'm just gonna go for a little wander and show you around and uh, see you. Show you the reception area and Savax and a little peek inside Chuck Wagon, hopefully. I'm just gonna be quiet and let you enjoy it. Take it in. reception area of uh, Cheyenne very heavily themed once again so this way this morning we just quickly checked in like um, not to the actual check-in desk just to get our magic passes which they had ready give her name at the uh, lady who was waiting at the entrance to reception and she said that he had our passes over there so maybe the same when you come Hope you can make your hotel, uh, sorry, restaurant reservations. Also have a general store as well. Look at this month's uh, pins, pin trading. Well, Cheyenne is woody themed, roundup themed, it's got lots of Toy Story stuff in you. Some of the general stuff that you get in the parks anyway. The American Mickey Range, the American Original. Got your bottles and your popcorn and your lollipops. Also got some cold drinks you can buy. Thanks. 
all your pet stuff. And then you use like a little uh, little store as well. Small selection of Mickey ears. Lots of plushies. Lots of Toy Story stuff. I've also got a tidy selection of pins in here as well. I'm not strictly Cheyenne, but these are sort of like the Cheyenne style ones. We've got like Sukhoi Lodge ones. A decent selection of others as well. And then in the reception area, you've got Red Garter Saloon in there, which is a bar style area. A little place for the kids to hang around, watch them tally if they want. And then over this side, you have Chuck Wagon Cafe Restaurant. But yeah, really nice in here. I'm actually, really pleased with this hotel. That just about sums it up then for our travel day vlog and sort of a tour around Cheyenne, the room, the resort kind of thing. Um, yeah, really, really nice here. Well, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for our next vlogs coming up, which is day one, two, three, and four from Disneyland Paris. See you in the next one.